Welcome to You Can Do It. Today we're going to be looking at smoke leak detector in our mini series. Um, so basically, uh, I've got to test this mini, it's failed the emissions test, so I've bought one of these um, smoke detectors off of eBay. Um, now, the first thing, this cost me about 80, 80 pounds. The first thing I did notice that this is actually a much smaller box than I thought. So on the internet, it looks like a lot much bigger product but yeah it's a bit surprise so let's have a look at this this is one of these ones from uh otol smoke detector so these are really useful pieces of kit for checking the car out if you get problems with emissions but also just for general everyday maintenance and just checking things out for um, leaks so this is what we've bought i say it's a lot smaller than it looked on the internet for some reason i thought it could be much bigger so let me get this out of the box here she is. Okay. So big selling point they said was a little that little handle. So you've got basically on the back here, which is what you need to know, you've got power, which that gets from the battery. You've got an air line in. Well, I mean if you haven't got a compressor, you can just put a bit of pipe on there and have something that blows air in or someone blow air in. Then you've got a smoke output. This is your output. And then the front here. We've got your, this is just the flow, the volume flow rate. This is obviously the power on button that tells you your smoke's ready. And then this is the smoke switch. Basically sets, the, sets it going. The way that we get smoke going, I think, is we undo this and look at, reading the manual, it says, I think, if you put some oil in this, I think just some paraffin. Not too much either. Now, yeah, there's lots of videos on there have how to make a cheap, you can make a cheap smoke detector by with a cigarette in a, in a little hand pump or something like that and I'm pumping it in. But what I actually wanted was one speed, because I haven't got a lot of time. And the main thing is the other things that are in here. So let's take out these other packets in here. What are little goodies? Okay, back. I've got them all out of the box. So this is actually, because by the time I bought all these little bits and waited for them to be delivered and all that, I just thought I'd buy the whole lot in one. So this is you've got this is what connects to the back of your um, back of the machine, and then that's basically what is going to be producing smoke is going to be coming out of there. Then you've got all these different that is to connect into the back there to connect to your battery. And this is if you need to, so you can blow through you can put um, smoke through there, and it'll come out the middle there. But the great thing about that is look, you pump it up. Actually, no, let me just tighten that up. You can put that in a in a hole, look, or something that's not perfect, um, really round or whatever, look. And this will deform to give you a seal to give you a seal to pump in. So that's really quite useful, that. Huh? It's like an epi now. If anyone knows what they are. Anyway, um, this this is another adapter, the evap. And this is another thing, this is great. This goes in, so you look at the side, you can go up to all sorts of different holes in here, size, that go in and then you can blow it. You basically, you can stick that in there, and blow it out along here. And um, so the user manual is in here. Okay, now I'm gonna just quickly read that and I'll be back in a second. All right, this is, this is the manual and I did have a quick look at this, which is the important bit. So, tells you what to go now the great thing about this is output pressure the output pressure is really low but I have read in here that the input that the input pressure can be anywhere between I think oh here but here's a note here look so look connect the external air source to compressed air and the access pressure range is 2 to 15 bar so basically there's a regulator in there so you can pump you, you can um, rig that up to your compressor or whatever. Just set, set your compressor at 8 bar or whatever it is. And that's fine. That'll they deal with it. And then you just get a small bit of smoke coming out. Okay. So the next thing to do then is let's go and get some uh, paraffin oil and put some in there. Now it says here, quite importantly for the test, not to put too much in. Just open the filling out and drain 10 millilitres of test liquid. So 10 millimetres of paraffin into there so let's go let me get down in the basement and get myself and fill that bottle up with paraffin and i'll be back so i fill that up with the uh, i only need 10 mil so that's uh, sitting at about 
uh, 45. So I'll put I'll put that put 10 mil in now. Well, right, that's got 10 mil in there now, and I've done that all nice and tight. There's a little seal in. So now I'm going to connect this onto the back. So it's just turn that off, I think. So then just basically slide that on there. I've got on there, and I put and just tighten that up. Not silly tight. It's really just it's only just puffing out some smoke. Not smoke testing the smoke tester. Right. So then basically this is going to be in effect our tool. Plug that in there. So then that's the standard European connector which we've got. We've got the compressor. So what we need to do now is get a 12 volt supply from the battery. See what happens to this thing. Okay, we're outside with the mini now. Um, plug my airline in the back. Got that all up. Got it wired up to the battery. There we are. She's on there. She's there now. If I turn this on, it should start. Warming up, let me see. Oh yeah, look at that, look. Huh. I've got no flow here at all. I'll do that, look. We've got smoke, which is basically paraffin. Look at that. So, I've got to do a smoke test on this, so let's have a go. So what we'll do is, we'll take the, take the dipstick out, and then let's stick, stick this down. The dipstick. So let's just see what where if we get any smoke anywhere. So I'm going to stay here for a bit. Let this build up. It takes two or three minutes. This going for quite a while. I've turned that up a bit. Give it a bit, bit more volume. Um, and a little check. See how that's coming out of here. Lot. So it doesn't look like we've got any leaks there. So the next one to do is the O2. O2 sensor. Okay, so we're going to smoke test the exhaust on this Mini N14. So I've made a little, that's just a basically a cut down cork, one of those new sort of plastic ones with a hole in it. Okay, we've got our smoke machine here, which I've done a video on that. So that one can go in there, like that lot, and that's all sealed up. So now what I can do is turn this on. Yeah, while that's just warming up, I'll go around the back what we've done here thanks to Mike just put a couple of like uh, rubber gloves on the back of the exhaust so the plan is we're gonna we're gonna uh, smoke test this and just see if we've got any any smoke coming out of the exhaust underneath okay let me get cracking let me turn this thing on now ready I'll basically turn that on full blast so that's gonna be just a check look that's kicking out a lot of smoke. We'll get back underneath and have a look. Okay, we can see we've got some pressure in there, look. <laughs> Looking good. Look, we do seem to be having a leak here. It's not much of a leak, but it's... Not here. And that's after the cat, so I don't know actually know whether that would that'd do anything. Any leak I can find. Okay, this, look, this, this is, so I don't know what that means, that's shot, or they, whether, how that works, will they slide in there or what, but it looks like that could be a problem, although it's not pumping out loads of, it's just a little, what I've done here today, uh, I've got my little smoke tester again, I've actually just plugged it up to the VW, the exhaust is off now. I've plugged the end with one of the, uh, the adapters that comes with the kit, which is why I bought the kit rather than trying to make my own one, because it comes with all these nice adapters. And then down the end here, look, I've just put some rubber gloves on the end of there. So let's put this, um, and this is what was this was what was wrong with the flexi look. So let's just see what happens when we turn this beast up. So it's turned on. You turn that up like that to get the flow going. And then uh, let's see. Now I'm making look. Oh look! See already straight away. Look at that. Now the gloves. <laughs> the gloves at the back there. Look. You see they've got uh, they've got pressure in them. Then but it's only just started. Look and look at that. So although that doesn't look too. I mean, you know, you think oh that's okay. Look, look at the state of that. So that is all 
going to massively affect the O2 sensor, which sits just about here. So that is going to affect this low O2, which hopefully is the reason that I've got. Um, uh, I've, uh, this is hopefully that's the, it's going to hit this. Um, the O2 sensor is here normally, so this is why this is going to affect the O2 sensor, and hopefully it's the whole reason I'm getting high HCs on the emissions. So looking forward to that. So these are. It's really it's in really good condition this exhaust and they're bloody expensive over here in Europe like seriously expensive so um I've got an option I've got had an option of just buying that section and welding that in but I haven't got a welder here with me at the moment so I'm going to have to use the garage to, to weld that up or find a, someone to weld it up with a welder so to save them having to do two welds I've bought I've bought this this section and this and it just comes with a flange here and hopefully we can put that on and then weld around there so i'll have to probably just grind that off um but that should arrive and once that arrives i will uh carry on with this with this project smoke test i have to say this machine which is the review about this machine brilliant little piece of kit i was dubious about it when I, when it arrived i thought oh, i've just wasted my money on that you know you can knock something out with a cigar and all that sort of absolutely brilliant it does takes the takes all the stress out of it and it's actually 20 mil you need to put in there so it says, tw tw it says 10, in the, 10 in the instructions and 20 on there um, and this works absolutely fantastic so it, I mean, it's a piece of kit which you don't need that often but when you're trying to di diagnose problems uh, on an engine it, it um, so what it's told me is I have a bit of a, I had a bit of a leak here now that's that valve I think that's there anyway I had a little whisper here which must maybe even the turbo seal or something little bit of a whisper there and then my uh, flexi underneath is, is appears to be shocked I can pull it out so just in the space of what 15 20 minutes I've worked all that out so that only cost me 80 quid so I've had that all diagnosed so I thoroughly recommend this machine oh was it oh oh tool our tool uh works really really well so uh Hope this video has been helpful for someone. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. And just remember, you can do it.